Hi, I'm Trauma Specialist Jeff Merrill in Annapolis, Maryland, a place that many people consider the sailing capital of the United States. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you on a talk-through tour of the Nordhaven 56 motor sailor, Paralandra. Paralandra is hull number six in the series. She's a 2010 model year, great interior. This boat was ordered without the sailing cockpit that you have seen on other boats. The interior space is amazing. The people who have built it, these are the original owners selling her, have done an exquisite job of ordering the boat and making her just beautiful, keeping her in great shape. This is a really fun boat to show you. She sails, she powers, she's really very efficient, gorgeous interior, excellent, easy to get around on the outside, the sail plan, everything, just a fantastic boat. I'm looking forward to showing you around. Let's get started. back deck is covered overhead. That area serves as a place for the arch for electronics and also the dinghy start up there. Custom table was designed for the port side. A couple of chairs there. The rails have bolsters on them. The back rails were modified to allow for some bolsters. You have the boarding gate up from the swim platform. There's a cockpit shower there. Again, all the seating that was available back here was used to make this a very comfortable area storage lockers down below. Here's the dinghy and the torpedo outboard. So when you arrive by boat, easy to get up here onto the back cockpit area. Up forward on the starboard side is a console with the barbecue and a sink. Give you a little bit of view there. And then from here, we would go on inside to the salon. So let's go take a look inside. Entering from the aft deck, you arrive into the combined pilot house and salon. The salon is aft over on the starboard side. Very great seating area, granite table. I should point out that the lamps and a lot of the artwork on board will be removed. They're on board because the owners enjoy them and it gives them a lot of pleasure, but there are some things that they will be removing. But uh, for now, I want you to see what we have. On the port side, a very large settee, ideal for sleeping. You have the Dutch door back aft with two panels. The overhead Magellite is the charcoal gray. So great area back aft for relaxing. Dutch doors, port and starboard. Up in the pilot house section, a large chart table, chart drawers, and then entertainment electronics, VHF radio, Navnet 3D, chart plotter radar, Simrad autopilot, Simrad wind, compass, another Navnet 3D autopilot remote. Here is the Hundestec controllable pitch propeller controls, compass light, main engine controls, windlass, bow thruster, destroyer helm, leather wrapped, Stid helm chair, very comfortable for underweight. Not too many sailboats have a stid helm chair. There is an overhead hatch. And if we look back, you can see a better view. The salon area. Really ideal area here. Shades down because of the lighting right now, but you have a good private area. Wonderful visibility forward. For the sails, the overhead hatch I have open right now. You can look up and see the mainsail. Boom. From this section, you can go outside on through either door, or you would head down to the lower level that has the galley, which is an incredible feature on the boat. I look forward to showing you that next. Come down six steps to enter the galley area, which is incredibly large, beautiful, spacious area. There's an island over here on the slightly on the port side, a hallway that goes forward. There are 
sub-zero drawers here, the electrical panel, primary electrical panel. Over here on the port side outboard, there are windows that give you a view outside so you don't feel, even though technically we're a galley down, you don't feel down. A large storage access service area in that locker there, sub-zero wine chiller, drawers, lockers, incredible amount of storage here. See the beautiful teak woodwork, impressive dining area with a teak table, comfortable seating, flat screen television. Everything has its place. Everything has been well thought out. A lot of the stuff has been tucked away just to make the video easier to see. Uh, cookbooks, a lot of cooking goes on on this boat. This is the stairs coming down from the pilot house salon area. You go down a couple steps to the owner stateroom, which we'll get to later. Another bank of drawers here with dishes. Looking back, this is truly a galley for a chef. You have a Viking electric oven and a Wolf induction electric cooktop. Tiles have a nice touch to them. Household size sub zero refrigerator with freezer drawers. I love the stainless countertop done here. That was a special order. Uh, some appliance barns. There is a microwave oven, large basin sink with a commercial garbage disposal opening port light there. Another barn for appliances. The sole is teak and ebony. It's a Bosch dishwasher there. Again, more drawers from the back area here on the starboard side. Looking forward, you can see that dining area a little bit better. The island, a couple of opening hatches, which are closed right now. Passing along the island going forward. You would head up, make a curve turn, and get to the guest stateroom and head. Outboard of the galley on the port side, past the island, is the electrical panel. There is a large pantry locker and a beautiful curved door concealing a hanging locker. As you come forward, there's up one step, and you see the guest stateroom forward and the guest head. Notice that it's separated. There is a Tecma freshwater toilet. As you come in to the head, single basin sink with the Axor special edition Growy faucet, mirrored medicine cabinet back aft, and then the shower, which is much larger. Then in the owner's stateroom, has a bench seat on it and a steam function in here. So you have a separate little steam room here, if you wish. Opening port light above. The forward section there was built deeper so you could put folded clothes in there. It's also a terrain vent, provides air circulation here. As you come into the guest stateroom, You'll notice that there is a desk area over on the port side with a swing out chair, bookshelves, locker space, opening port lights, additional hatches overhead, all with the ocean air screens, hanging locker to the port side, Samsung flat screen television, shelf outboard for whatever you want to put there, and a good sized bed, reading lights. It's a queen size with the corner cut off. Another view here, looking back aft. Great place to be a visitor. Nice to be a guest aboard Paralandra. Plenty of room, room for your gear. And if you are the owner of the boat and need to get some work done, you have a great desk office area up forward. Coming down a couple of steps from the galley landing, you pass the laundry, the clothes washer and dryer and hanging locker. Coming in to the owner's stateroom in the aft portion of the boat. 
opening port lights outboard, covered right now for shade, large drawers, a lot of bookcases on this boat, big readers, mirror on the back of the door, bureau here, locker and drawers, also a flat screen television above. Get around the bed on either side, very easy to do so. Much easier bed to make. Drawers below the bed, hanging locker back aft on the port side. And from here, you go up just a couple of steps, two steps up to get into the head. Tecma freshwater toilet, opening port light, vanity mirror, medicine cabinet with mirrored doors, beautiful granite, custom sink, custom Axor, which is a high end Grohe faucet, bifold shower door. That door gives you access to the lazarette. Shower with a seat. This is a very good size shower, easy to get around in. And here's another view of your head. We're over on the starboard side of the boat. From the owner stateroom shower, you go into the lazarette through the gasketed door. Looking forward, you can see the emergency tillers. They are two parts, a fire suppression system, top load freezer, Northern Lights 20kW generator outboard on the port side. It's an air compressor back there, the DeWalt wet vacuum. The water maker is behind the rudder steering shelf components. There's also a bank of Craftsman sliding tools and tool chest. You see the easy access to the rudder post. You have some shelves for storage of gear, the duplex or the double out back inverters, the steering manifolds, and as you we pan along the starboard side, air conditioning compressor, magma table, fuses, breakers, switches, outboard. There's the door again into the owner head. GE top load freezer, the steps that come up if you want to board from the cockpit. Again, fire suppression and outboard is the reverse oil change system. Working back aft, another view. See how easy it is to store the gear here. There's a, a closer look at the Parker 600 gallon a day water maker and the toolboxes batteries, very well organized lazarette. In the galley area, you actually can lift up very cleverly the hinged floors for access to the engine. So there is your lugger main engine. See the Keel step mast is up forward. There's a fire suppression system down there. The Lumar hydraulic winches over on the starboard side. The Raycor fuel filters, manifolds. Looking back aft, the transmission, the gear for the Honda Step propeller. Really amazing that this all fits in here. It's so easy to access. And the owner made a clever design with some lines and some starboard fashion to hold those hatches up so it's very easy to service this. There's additional hatches that open up which would require some moving of gear but right now I want you to see how easy it is to get to this engine room for service and making sure that everything's ready to go. A closer look in the engine compartment. You have your fuel manifolds, Raycor fuel filters over on the starboard side. You can reach a lot of this from the floor above and just bending over, or you can actually step down in here and get to it. Looking back aft, there is a timer and your fuel pump for transferring fuel, a camera for giving you visual, the strainer for the main engine, the exhaust goes outboard to the port side, there are some fuses, 
breakers all protected behind a plexi panel, fire suppression system. Another look up forward, the Lumar power pack for the winches, the hydraulic winches. There's the fuel reservoir for supply and return. Good railing, hydraulic furling, two anchor rollers. There's a bow tow eye up forward for the harness chain stopper. This is a cool little sail locker right here. Gives you access to the chain locker. You see that Nordhaven put stainless rails, no lifelines around here. Very safe, secure. Uh, on the foredeck, it's a comfortable non-skid pattern. Four hatches up forward. Uh, port lights you can see in the side. Again, good side decks. There's a kayak over on the port side. Dorade vents with protective rails, call them granny bars in my old sailing days. And then here's the mast, has a leisure furl boom for the main tucks right in there. Solid boom bang, Naptec hydraulic. There is a storage locker box up forward that they've also upholstered, some seating cushions. See the main sheet coming back down to this winch here. Buttons for the halyards. Again, a very easy foredeck to get around in. Uh, up top, you access this area from the cockpit. There's a ladder that goes up there. Two solar panels. There's a hatch in the pilot house. The dinghy rests on the pads back there, and you have the arch for electronics. Really good, clean boat. Very easy to get around on both sides. You see the outboard Genoa tracks. You see how they place the standing rigging so you can easily work your way forward. And she really sails like a dream. We didn't have a lot of wind when we were out sailing, but we did get a chance to see how well she performs in light air. Final look around here. See the Annapolis Harbor, Naval Academy. Really good, clean boat. Up on the pilot house deck, the roof, you have two big solar panels. You can see the main sheet right there. Looking back aft, some weaver stands for the dinghy when you are off sailing and you don't want to be towing it. There is the access from the back deck handle there, half that lifts up. The instrument arch has antennas, GPS, the Fruno radar. There's the Kalenberg horns, you can see the trumpets there. The white box there is the boom winch control for launching the dinghy from the boom. You swing the boom out and you can raise and lower the dinghy. Another view of the main sheet. Looking up at the double spreader rig, it is a split backstay. We saw earlier how well the shrouds are led to make it easy to get around on deck. And looking forward up to the bow. The hydraulic boom bang, main sheet, solar panels, dinghy storage, great area up here, well used space. Thank you for joining me aboard Paralandra today. Uh, you now should have a much better appreciation of what a fantastic boat this is, how well she's been cared for. We have pricing, specifications, layouts, all the details are on jmys.com. Hopefully by watching this video, you are now more intrigued. Uh, if you've ever wanted to own your own planet, this could be it. Take a look, look up Paralandra, see what that means. It's a pretty good story and uh, an amazing boat. You could be able to cruise wherever you want and have your own world with you. We do visits by appointment. If you'd like to schedule a viewing, please get in touch with me. My information's on the screen. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you for joining me. And let's get you on board so you can see for yourself. Look forward to hearing from you and hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.
Hey, Trawler friends, thank you for watching the video. We love doing these videos. It's great having you on board. Great being out on the water. We do have over 100 videos on the JMYS YouTube channel. If you would like to subscribe, you can click the button. If you'd like a reminder on when the next video is going to show up, you can click the bell. That'll give you a reminder. We really appreciate it when you give us those thumbs up. Thank you very much for that. We also like your comments. We like to respond to your comments. So please keep watching. Thank you for your encouragement. If you'd like to watch some other videos, we have a couple of them over here to click on. And there's always something new coming on the JMYS YouTube channel. Stay tuned and we'll stay in touch. Look forward to watching you and you watching me. Thank you.